Hello my good people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Anywhere you are in the world, you'll be getting news from this channel, Victory Express TV. We are coming to you just the way Victory Channel TV, you know, was coming to you because that one is having issues and yet we must continue. Now, police, three police have been arrested in Anambra for championing the uh, extrajudicial killing in Anambra. When I told you that whenever you hear this unknown government, unknown government, anybody can mask himself or herself to answer unknown government. You know, a government that is calling unknown government over one year, that means their hand is in it. They know who this government are and they have, you know, channeled them to South East to go and be committing uh, a lot of atrocities against those that they hate so much and they want to annihilate. They want to annihilate the Igbos. That is why we must speak up and we must know that we are highly hated in this contraption called Nigeria. So the best thing for us is to have our own police, have our own military, have our own court, have everything of our own. That is, have our own nation and separate ourselves from this fraudulent and fake life they are living in Nigeria against the Abels. Soludo is even crying out concerning these police people. Now hear the news in details. Police arrest East officers in Anambra over allegation burden on extrajudicial killings and unprofessional conduct. Now the Inspector General of Police, IGP Osman al Baba has set up a special investigation panel under the IGP Monitoring and Mentoring Unit to commence investigations into some weighty allegations of unprofessionalism, high-handedness, and extrajudicial killings leveled against his officers serving at the Zone 13 Command of Dunukofia and the University Command on social media platforms. Now, in the light of the serious allegations leveled against the officers, CSP Patrick Abazwe, Officer in charge of the Rapid Response Squad Arabes and Ambassador Command, SP Moudin Kiroka, the PPRO of the Zone 13 Headquarters of Bodunukofia, and the Inspector Harrison Nakama attached to the Arabes that they, they, they reported at the police at the force headquarters, Louis Edet House, Abuja, on 17th February 2023, on the directives of the IGP for commencement of investigations to ascertain the veracity of the allegations for further necessary action. The Sewa Department has been given a period of two weeks to come up with a report of investigations. Okay, the force enjoins any member of the public who has either experiences or information on acts of high handedness, extortion, or extrajudicial killings by the officers in question to forward same with detailed information via a certain phone number. Or by email, by their police police email address, to enable the panel achieve a holistic investigation. And now, so uh, this is what the police is saying: these people have been accused heavily on social media. You know, thanks to social media, it's helping Nigerians. Yes, otherwise, you see this uh, your this enemy, enemy friend, police, or friend enemy, friend enemy, Nigerian police. They will say, police is your friend. They are wrecking havoc in our communities, Nigerian police. The bad ex has outnumbered the good ones, and that is the problem we are having in this country today. I tell you, the bad ex in the Nigerian police, they have far outnumbered long time ago, and the, the bad the bad ex are increasing on daily basis, because the bad ones are corrupting the few elements or few ones there, few officers, because they are not being checked. The recklessness the unprofessionalism and even the high-handedness or the extrajudicial judicial killings by these uh, corrupt elements in the place is not being checked and therefore they began to corrupt the few good ones there and that is the problem we are facing so the high-handedness we are talking about the unprofessionalism even the extrajudicial killings no be here we have been talking about this extrajudicial killings. If you go to Ahinta lands, particularly in the southeast, the Biafra land, you will notice that, look, the young men, the young men, the youths, they are running away from their communities. They are running away. Why? Because of this police. Yes, yes, the army. 
chasing them. This is not the issue of arrest and go to court. No, it's jungle justice. If you go to the police stations, see the disappearances, they will arrest. The next day, the relatives of the person they got they, they arrested will go there to see if they will interface with the police. The person must have disappeared. They will not see the trace of that person again. If you ask police, they will ask DSS. If you ask DSS, they will ask the army. Just like that. The police will be, you know, in confusion, feeling ignorance. Whereas they have killed that person. They have slaughtered him. So the extrajudicial killing is too much. And these people have been accused. You have seen it. They have been accused of killing people. It is easier for police to label anybody a criminal. No matter how innocent you are. Very easy. They don't have recourse to honesty, to sanctity of human life. Their own is just to kill. Yes, even some people pay police to kill some individuals. Their enemies, Nigerian police. This Nigerian police. There are some persons, businessmen, or those who have money. If they have a land litigation with somebody, they even bribe the police to go and kill that person. Police will go and kill that individual. They arrest the person and they will, before the person goes to the station, they will kill the person. Sometimes they allow the person to come to the station. When the person comes to the station, maybe the person who, you know, directed them to arrest that individual will now give them order to shoot that person. They will kill the person either by poison or by, 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 by gun bullet. You see? So that is what they are doing. And this Malayan police said they are investigating. They are not investigating anything. Don't mind them. They have given out numbers for people to call. But uh, we are not encouraging anybody to call that number. Honestly speaking, we are not encouraging any person to call that number. Because nothing good will come out of that investigation. Police have been protecting these bad acts. That's why they are festering, corrupting others. Otherwise, this thing could have stopped before now. They are corrupting them. They are shielding them. They are the ones who send them to the roads to collect money, tolls, extort Nigerians. Otherwise, those things could have stopped. All right? Those in the office, the police authorities, even the police service commission, cannot shy away from this, cannot observe itself. That's the point. From this whole mess, this rot in police, the police is the most corrupt entity in Nigeria. They have done a lot of harm to the economy, to the security of the country, you know, to everything. They are the saboteurs themselves. When they talk of economic saboteurs, police is number one. Go to their stations, the area commands, their headquarters, that is the state's uh, commands. You will see what is happening there. Bell is free. Bell is free. Who sigh? Go there. You will pay to the nose to extricate your person from the hands of these uh, dead devil police officers. They are there to make money at all costs. That's all. They are not securing people. They are not there to police the, police the communities or the towns. No. They are there to make money at all costs. So it's not of their business. So this is what is happening in number states. If police will live up to its bidding responsibility by ensuring that its officers and men, you know, carry out their duties and job according to specifications and more especially as the rule of engagement to pledge, I think Nigeria will be a safer place. Irrespective of the fact that the number is limited, the number of police officers in Nigeria is limited. But if these numbers, we are talking about limitation, if they can commit themselves, with the rule of engagement, okay, and do their job thoroughly, things will get better. But come to think of it, the people who sent them, the government, what are they doing with the source of the police? The government is not even funding the police. They are looting the money meant for the for security of life and property in the country. Even when they were pushing money for 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 you know purchase of arms and weapons, the money will go down the drain. The Senate Committee on Police will squander. The Senate, the House of Reps Committee on the Police will squander, and the, the Minister of Police will squander. The Police Service Commission will squander, and when it gets to the Police IGP, he will squander, and his men, the AIGs, they will squander, and you get to the Commission of Police in various states, they will squander, and you get to the area commands, just like that. 
Even the AIG in zone in, in zones, they will squander. And that is how they have been doing it. And these men are into abject poverty and they are bearing gone. And what do you expect? And so they go into criminality, extrajudicial killing, assassination. They are being hired, being paid to assassinate, they will go and do it. So that is what is happening. And the number of states they have been the police said they have apprehended them. We don't know what they are doing over in, with them in Abuja, honestly speaking. We cannot ask anybody to go and provide information because uh, you may go or you may not come back. Or you can tell them through via email or you know the phone numbers they have uh, put out and uh, you think that you see that they will trace you to come and locate you wherever you are. So we don't ask people to do